Hey YouTube, Modkip here, with the first season of the Deep Weapon Breakdown. Today I'll be doing a quick rundown of the Strand Rapid Fire Shotgun until its return. I'm pleasantly surprised as this might be the first non-slug shotgun that is better in PvE than PvP. Until its return is the first of its kind, being currently, as of Season of the Deep, the only Strand shotgun in the game, as well as the only craftable kinetic slot rapid fire shotgun in the game. After a fair amount of testing and a number of enhancement shards later, I found a build suited to the weapon that I haven't found available on any other shoddy before it, Overflow Cascade Point. For those that don't know, Overflow doubles the ammo in the magazine when you pick up special or heavy ammo bricks. It will take it directly from reserves, but makes it so you don't need to reload as long as you are getting ammo pickups. Not that you need to worry about reloading the shotgun, as its reload speed is 61 base, meaning it reloads incredibly fast as is. As for Cascade Point, I've talked about it at length several times in other videos, as it removes the firing delay after a kill with another weapon, and I've come to a conclusion on when you should consider Cascade Point viable. If a weapon has a really slow fire rate, such as the Regnant from Season of Defiance, or when it fires really fast, like until its return, for some reason, and this is probably just a personal issue, but weapons like Perpetualis didn't seem to really benefit from it as much as the Regnant did. I know after looking at the D2 Foundry that Perpetualis goes from a 600 RPM auto to a 1000 RPM, but I don't really notice the change. I assume it has something to do with the deep magazine provided by Envious Assassins, since that's what I run on Perpetualis, but this is different for until it's return. Despite activating overflow and getting about 16 ammo in the magazine, you will notice it empty 8 rounds in around a second with Cascade Point active. It feels like a legendary 4th Horseman. It also feels much better to use than 4th Horseman, as my ammo lasts long enough for me to notice that it's even disappeared. Not much longer, but close enough to matter. This is because while Cascade Point is active, until its return has around 230 RPM, which is a little more than half the RPM of 4th Horseman, with its catalyst, hence the similar feeling of your ammo just straight up disappearing. As far as other perks go for PvE, I'd consider Collective Action for a 6 second 20% damage buff after an elemental pickup that stacks up to 12 seconds. And for PvP, I'd consider Threat Detector a Steady Hands with a leaning towards Threat as Steady requires a kill and runs on a short timer. And for the PvP Fort slot, I'd run Harmony or Trench Barrow with a leaning towards Harmony as it lasts longer and doesn't require a melee as a shotgun will more than likely one-shot anyone within melee range anyway, so the damage buff that lasts longer seems more appropriate. The barrel pick on either bilge should be either rifled or full choke, and the magazine is preference. I chose TAC mag personally. Also, if you're planning on spending an alloy to enhance a perk, the best ones to enhance are overflow that can bump your max mag size from 16 to 18, and Threat Detector that adds force stability and reload speed. And run either a Stability or Handling Masterwork because range and reload give very minimal boosts. All in all, it's a great first strand shotgun and I can't wait to see what a slug strand shotgun could bring to the game down the line. If this guide was helpful in any way, please consider a like, leave a comment if you have anything to ask, and subscribe for more of this kind of video. And as always, thanks for watching.